What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy Don Good. Welcome back to another edition of the DGR. For those that don't know and you're tuning in for the first time, I like to say welcome. And the DGR stands for the Don Good Report. Shout out to all my subscribers and all the folks out there that's viewing my videos. I appreciate all the positive feedback and the support y'all leaving your boy. Continue to do so because you know what ladies and gentlemen, at the end of the day, I do this for y'all as well as I do it for myself. Alright, let's jump into the review. You are now looking at the Reebok Shaq Attacks. These are definitely a throwback and a flash from the past. Had to get these joints. This was definitely on my list to pick up for this year. And I was able to cop them. They didn't have them in uh, many stores in my area. It was extremely hard to get them. And they sold out really quick. And these things were extremely expensive. This is probably one of the most expensive Reeboks I've bought this entire year. Alright, let's jump into the review. As you can see, in the front toe box area, you have that nice, fine, white leather. You have your white stitching right here. The blue colorway tongue. You have your flat white laces. And if you go up to the top of the tongue, you have your legendary The Pump logo, which is crucial, just in case you thought Reebok didn't make The Pump action work for real. You were wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I pumped it up for y'all. And if you don't know where the valve is, the valve is actually right here on the side of the tongue so check it out you can probably hear the air release here we go <laughs> very faint but there you have it and you have a leather white basing around that pump logo which is crucial with your black rubber flaps on both sides also as you can see you have a new buck in a black colorway that encompass the top portion of the sneaker as well and you also have for the Reebok symbol a white new buck as well it's almost like an eggshell white and if you look on the side I guess in your midsole area that is comprised of white and black you see your classic shack tag right there with the gold chain Reebok logo that ultra sheen patent leather look in a blue colorway for your ankle padding and support see the embroidered shack logo right there in the back take a look at the bottom you have your carbon fiber and the bottom is black, blue, and that white colorway. I also almost forgot to mention, on the inner portion of the sneaker, you have a hint of carbon fiber as well. So if you were thinking about quality-wise, I don't know. A lot of people said that the leather was too soft for them, but uh, it's perfect for me. It is what it is. And also... To me, it was good quality. You have a new buck, a patent leather, and a regular leather on this sneaker. So you couldn't ask for anything more. Great job, Reebok. Great job, Reebok. Great job. All right, this is your boy, Don Good, signing out with another DGR. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, don't forget to pump them up, too, people. Pump them up, pump them up, pump them up. <laughs>